My name is H. Kanyongolo. I am an associate professor of law in the University of Malawi. Uh, the University of Malawi has been in existence for more than uh, 50 years and uh, consists of five faculties, law, social science, science, humanities, and education. My work in the Faculty of Law is really in the area of human rights and uh, legal theory, uh, but my research interests over the past 10 years or so has really been on the interplay between law and politics. My interest in law and politics is really because essentially I come to the law uh, from the interest in power. I look at law really as an instrument that has to do with the balancing of power, the limitation of power, and it is within that context that then I link it to politics. But in terms of the realities on the ground, I think my research is relevant because one of the least understood connections, I think, is between law, politics, and human security. Uh, in the context of Malawi, uh, it's really to be fascinated by the paradox of the law and politics as being, on the one hand, instruments that set out or claim to guarantee and protect human security, but at the same time also undermine it. So it is this paradox that, as a researcher, I'm interested in. So whether you are talking about freedom of expression uh, as, a, on the one hand, something that guarantees human security because you allow people to vent and get it off their chest, as it were, but at the same time, freedom of expression, if unguarded or unlimited, could also be the very cause of human insecurity. So it is those paradoxes that uh, sit at the center of my research interests as an academic within the University of Malawi. And I have been doing this for, well, just over 30 years. And I've enjoyed not only working with fellow academics in the University of Malawi, but I'm always keenly seeking out collaborations with others. Uh, because the intellectual community, as you know, does not know any national boundaries. So it's always a pleasure to be involved in collaborations with academics from elsewhere, uh, from Malawi, from the African region, but indeed even from beyond. And I'm happy to say that these collaborations have, uh, <laughs> there's been no shortage of these collaborations. And, and, and more recently, I mean, some work with Anthusia and so on, just kind of just feeds into all this. So I am quite happy to be part of this uh, collaboration. Dr. Kanyongolu, I hope I pronounce your sermon correctly. Uh, my question to you is, from your work on the interplay between law and politics in a contemporary Southern Africa context, and your experience in regional collaboration on human rights advocacy, how do you see the prospects of strengthening our regional collaboration on addressing issues of human rights violations, such as infringement on freedom of speech across the SADC region? Uh, the prospects for strengthening this collaboration uh, are quite high, and I think in three respects, actually. The first would be just to share, uh, almost at the theoretical level, an understanding of the connections between human security, human rights, and law. And secondly, would be a kind of uh, setting up for systems of information sharing. One of the challenges in the Southern Africa region is information and how to systematically share that. And then thirdly, would be just to find the connections between scholarship and activism. Because I think if there's one gap, that has affected uh, work in this area, in this region, is the gap that exists between intellectuals on the one hand who are theorizing about these things and the advocates who are the core face of fighting for freedom of expression and other human rights on a daily basis as anybody who has paid attention to Southern Africa and indeed many parts of Africa will understand. Uh, given that your project involves, on the one hand, individual countries uh, and on the other, the sub-region A, uh, do you uh, experience any conflict uh, between the interests of the individual nations and the broader interests of the sub-region? And if so, how do you navigate uh, this likely conflict 